thank you so much for clicking on my video. As the title says, I'm gonna be watching episodes one and two of Arth Doll Chronicles. It is the 2019 Korean drama series that aired on Netflix and all the episodes are up currently since this is an older show. I decided to do a reaction on this because when I posted on my community board to my subscribers, asking what I should watch next. There were a few people that suggested I watch Arth Doll Chronicles because Song Joon Ki is in it. And honestly, this is the only series that I haven't watched that has Song Joon Ki. I'm a huge fan of his and I don't know why I didn't watch this show in 2019. I don't think I realized that Song Joon Ki was in it. <laughs> I felt after Vincenzo and being reminded how much I love Song Joon Ki and what a great actor he is, that uh, it's time, it's time I watch it. So I thought I would react to the first two episodes, see what the show was all about, give my take on it, and you guys know the rest. If you don't know the rest because you're not a subscriber and have come across this video, thank you so much for clicking on it and welcome. If you like to watch Korean drama reactions, this is definitely the channel for you. So make sure to subscribe before clicking away from this video and hit that notification bell to be notified when new videos are up. And when you're a subscriber, you're also notified when I post on my community board page here on the YouTube channel so you can participate in suggesting what dramas I watch next. I want to watch what you guys are watching so that we can all, you know, feel the feels together. And with that, let's get into episodes one and two of Arth Doll Chronicles and see what I think about. It. <laughs> Why is this giving me Game of Thrones vibes? Oh, we've got a blue white snake coming down a tree. This already feels like a bad sign. I feel like this is going to be one of those he's the chosen one situations. <laughs> oh, is she having a premonition, a dream, a nightmare? Oh, that baby is cursed. Holy. Whoa, already something's going on. <laughs> In ancient times when mankind, they learned to use fire and began making sharp blades, invented wheels and started paving trails, and finally learned to plant seeds and settled in one place. But they did not have a nation or a king. Yeah, that didn't fully sound like they were speaking Korean. Oh shoot, what's going on here? Oh my gosh, that guy's arm it got ripped off. <laughs> yeah, d don't go back from, oh my gosh. So is this a person? I don't know what's going on, but I am intrigued by the violence and this weird entity that is after them and killing them one by one. That looks like a person. I mean, there's obviously gonna be magic involved just from the baby with the purple pink eyes. I wonder if this is the baby all grown up. Oh my gosh, the severed leg. Jeez, dude. All right, what is he doing? Is he like trying to make a smoke signal? It's a person. He's like standing in the flames. Okay, so I guess this is part of this guy's tribe. So I wonder if they were trying to hunt that guy down. Just one Neanthal did this. Okay, so he's a Neanthal, whatever that is. Right, that's when it all began. Heaven Lake, the top of White Peak Mountain. Heaven Lake, here we are. Sanong. Okay, so Sanong, the tribe maybe? Rock. Nerov. So, oh, so I think those are the characters' names. I'm so slow. So that was Ragnaz, which I think that's the guy that we were just seeing in the forest just now. All right, so she seems to be able to interpret the language. All right, they're about to show what's under the sheet, the blanket. Oh, it's food. Cultivation and agriculture, okay. So it seems, you know, these Neanderthals are like Neanderthals. <laughs> this other tribe are a little more advanced and they're trying to join forces and help one another and they need their land. And the wisdom and civilization of the Arthdal. So they must be the Arthdal and then these guys are the Neanderthals. Oh my gosh. I feel like he's gonna say no <laughs> to the proposition. They don't eat that stuff anyway. <laughs> they eat flesh. I don't know if that's true. Ooh, those two are making some eye contact. I'm suspicious. Well, I'd say that meeting didn't go according to plan. The head of the tigers. 
they didn't need anything. Okay. okay, so those are tigers. The other group's the swarm, sworn. Oof, there's gonna be a lot to remember in this show. So even though they can cultivate and do agriculture, they need the Neanthal's land because it's, they can plant more. They got too many people and not enough space. Okay, so they started war and then it ended really quickly. Oh, they played dirty. Oh, they found out about an infectious disease that only affected Neanthals and sent like that over there and got them all sick on purpose. Oh, that's dirty. Oh, those are the birdies that what's his face was all talking about. Oh no. Oh, she's finding out the truth. Oh, she's like, tell him I'm dead. Uh-oh. Oh, he punched a hole in him. Yeah, they are. Oh no, he's sick too. Wow, this infection really gets to him fast. This is crazy. Okay, so they're gonna join forces and save all the children of the Neanthals. <laughs> yeah, we witnessed that already. Ooh, the spiritual power of dream. Tagon. Okay, so obviously it was his idea to like send the birds over there. Did they have a baby together? Okay, so now we're in like the... Oh, so there were Neanthals that didn't suffer from the disease and those ones were like extra strong. So those are the ones that they're like chasing after right now. So I think this is the guy from earlier. I think because they're really dirty and stuff. I'm like, is it the same guy? Also, it was like dark. Ooh, gonna see his skills in action. Wow, he's like a little spider monkey. Just ripping limbs off, whoa. All right, I feel like I just saw a little kid peeking his head through the trees. Oh no, buddy. Okay, so this is that whole coming into the dreamscape thing. So that baby was apparently born during a comet. Or both babies were born during the comet. Do not pursue the one that sings. Did, is that what he just said? Is the baby gonna be missing? Okay, so I wonder if this is that sort of dreamscape power thing they were talking about. Oh, and the baby's missing. And I will take their father. So did she have kids with this guy? It's a pretty color blue. I know that's supposed to be his blood, but that's cool. Oh man, I wonder how they did that. It looks really blue. Hmm, he had a dream and saw the doomsday of their tribe. So I guess for these Neanthals, dreams usually mean something they're prolific maybe or i thought they could maybe talk to each other in their dreams or maybe he's just cursing them you know oh he's telling them they're gonna kill each other i mean seems likely and they seem to be a pretty greedy civilization from the start so i wouldn't be surprised if that was the outcome i was really liking his character <laughs> i guess it was the same guy and it seemed like he was getting sick before but i guess he got better they do keep like cl getting close-ups on his back. He's got like snake skin on his back or something's going on there. Yeah, what did he say? Psh, no idea. Oh, so Neanthals have dreams and these guys don't. They just don't dream when they sleep. And so that's why she was shocked by what she saw. She was like, is this a dream? That's an interesting little development that like dreams are something that's magical in this universe. It's Tagon. Or Tagon. Take on him and his little side braids. A pre or post mortem ritual performed by Guide to Soul to God. Okay. I'm glad they gave that uh, information. <laughs> but it seems like he shouldn't be performing that ritual since he's not a priest. Oh, okay. So it's just kind of there are many gods amongst them all. So he worships founder of Arthdale. Okay. 
I feel like this means something a little more, like the fact that he's doing the ritual and he's not a priest and that these guys are joining in. Like it feels sacrilegious kind of thing. Okay, so it seems like they're all from different tribes, but obviously they're all working together. So that's why they all sort of have different garb and stuff. I'm making that assumption, but he's obviously not happy that Tagon did that right, since it seems that there's a specific tribe or priests that do that ritual. Is he gonna find the baby? I feel like he's gonna find the baby. He's probably gonna keep the baby and raise the baby as his own. Oh, it's not a Neanderthal. Is it gonna cut it? Oh, you're cutting the baby. Oh, it's like blue red blood. It's interesting that the baby doesn't cry or anything. It's like he cut the baby. So I guess both those babies are hers and she had twins. I have questions. Maybe they're gonna show like a flashback to how all that went down. Cause like when that whole thing happened with the village getting all infected and the babies, it seemed like, do not pursue the one that sings. Oh, and he's singing as he walks away. So she did have a dream and she's never had a dream because she's an arcadal, arcadal, arcadal. Oh, so she dreamt it was her god from her culture that took him away. Oh, yeah, how? Good question. Okay, so they were her kids. I guess they bring bad luck and her god was like, get rid of them or I'll get rid of the father. Okay, it's believed that the one who will bring disaster upon us is more born on that day. Oh, she fell in love and gave birth to an Igutu. She gave birth to two, right? Interesting. <laughs> so she's gonna run to a place called Lark where the gods can't reach her, okay. I guess it's like impossible to get to if you can't fly. Oh, but there's a cave, convenient. <laughs> all right, so it seems like between the time that all that stuff went down, she's been raising the two kids that they saved from the village and also had two kids because they said that it took a while to get rid of the other ones. So I think that those two boys that we saw that came to warn her about what's going on with the baby daddy were the babies that they saved during the war. So now she's looking for this cave that will supposedly get her down there. But what about the other baby? Uh, why is she not concerned about that baby? Oh, looks like she found the cave. Don't be scared, mama. Is she eating uh, mushrooms right now or chicken? Oh, are they, is it bats? 10 years later, okay. <laughs> Take on, he's got a six pack. I'm enjoying that, even though he's a bad guy. I guess the hay drive isn't here. I didn't expect them to be here anyway, okay. JK, <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> Oh, he's wearing the skull of the last remaining Neanderthal. Oh my gosh, that's so disturbing. They skinned it? Oh, it's a different actor. Sometimes I, I'm not a fan because I feel like that other guy could have played an older version of himself, but what do I know? Well, it is interesting that they all agree that there are multiple gods and that they may not all follow the same god, but like there's still Arthdals. <laughs> like this guy who's still wearing the face mask from all this time. Is that his wife? Oh, he's drunken down. Oh, did she dunk his face in the alcohol thinking it was water? Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. It's just all alcohol, none of it is water. Oh, she's not married to him, okay. But she's raising the boy that he brought back with him. All right, so these must be like the priesty people, the priesty tribe. Okay, so now that they've had the land, they now need more workers. So, slaves? What are they planning? Okay, so I guess there are people that live in Yark. Oh, okay. So, there is a civilization in Yark that apparently they want to try to access and pretty much make slaves. That's what I'm assuming. Take barbarians and make them work but it's hard to access it besides that secret cave. All right, we got a little little 10 year old-ish looking boy. He's got a little thing around his hips, I think so he won't get lost maybe. 
I wonder if he's trying to find a way out. Ooh, you live in dangerously. I feel like we're not gonna get a Song Joon Ki moment in this first episode. <laughs> oh no! Ooh, he's really fallen. Ooh, he caught himself. Okay, good. All right, so he survived and he's back out. He's hiding the evidence. <laughs> oh, he got a stone. Okay, so I think it is, okay. We saw the little scale back stuff, so that must mean that that is our 10-year-old little Unsam. And that looks to be a map of the caves. So maybe he's supposed to be doing that? Well, she seems very happy about it, so. What does it mean, though? Is that where Yark is? And she just never made it, so they've been hiding out there this whole time? So I guess the past 10 years, she's been trying to weave her way through these caves. And she's obviously gotten very weak from searching and searching and he's just been getting older and older and so he's been helping i guess and it looks like they found the entrance finally after 10 years and now they're there so now her son is safe oh that is uh that was an interesting cgi moment that felt very obvious well off they go to hide from her god after 10 years yeah the barbarians but Joke's on you, because the Arth people are going there to enslave them all. Oh, and he's asking questions about his blood now. Why am I different, mommy? I like how to really emphasize that he's like a half-blood Arth and Neanthal. He's got like, oh, the feet are, the ground is hot. Oh, his footsies. He's got like pink lips instead of like blue or red lips. They're like pinky purple. Cause you know, red and blue make purple. So he's got like purplish blood and purple lips. I mean, keep it simple sometimes, you know? Oh no, is she gonna collapse and die there? That'd be sad. All right, kiddo, you can get off your mom's back now. The ground is not hot anymore. Uh-oh, we're hearing animal sounds. These must be the barbarians. Yo son. Hey, it's that actor. That little girl actor. I've seen her in a couple things. Oh, and apparently he speaks their language. So they're not barbarians? Maybe they are and they still just speak the same language. <laughs> or maybe they ran away as well. Uh-oh. Oh no. It's the same field from her dream. Is that tree familiar? Oh dear. Uh-oh. All the things in her dream are coming to fruition. Oh, they're all like gasping at her foot. Why don't y'all stop staring and gasping and help her? I feel like this girl, when they're gonna grow up, is gonna be the love interest. <laughs> oh, and it's like the same hair. Oh no, she was seeing her little boy. Oh, she's losing her mind. Or maybe not. What does it mean? So she brought, so is she now freaking out because she thinks that she brought their god to Yark where that god apparently was supposed to have no control over her? I can't tell if she's losing her mind or if she did have a premonition and it's like coming to fruition but not what she was thinking. Once the scab falls off, go back to this place. Oh, the scab that they mentioned, I guess because he's a half breed, like snake scab is gonna eventually fall off and he's gonna look more like a, an Arth. Oh no, she's dying. She's out. Well, I guess this village is gonna raise him. <laughs> I'm sorry, I shouldn't be laughing. This is very sad. Okay, is this gonna be like 10, like another 10 years later? And we finally get Song Joon Ki right at the end of this episode. I hope that's the case. If I don't get Song Joon Ki in the first episode, uh oh, and he still has the this, this scab. <laughs> Do you like that stutter? Is the scab about to fall off, and that's why everybody's watching him? Oh, Song Joon Ki! Why are they all watching him as he's like crying in his sleep? <laughs> oh, it's our boy! Oh my God, that hair! <laughs> that is some curly hair. <laughs> What's in that guy's bowl cut bang happening? Oh, they're surrounding him because he was having dreams. Oh, I forgot about the whole dream thing. Did you wake up from a dream? Oh, it's our Song Joon Ki with his purple lips. He's so tan. I love it. Yeah, what's he going to say? Because, you know, apparently these guys don't have dreams either. So they're saying that you have to train for a long time like the Great Mother. So I guess there's somebody in this village that can dream. And that's the Great Mother. 
Tanya is the child of the Azura Comet, but she isn't capable of having dreams. So they also have a child that was born under the Comet. And he thinks that Unsum stole Tanya's dreams. So it seems that our lead female is somehow special as well. And I'm betting that she's the girl that we saw as the young version of her in episode one. It's just interesting how he's obviously older and has been, it appears, living in this village the whole time. And they're just now confronting him and catching that he's having dreams. And apparently he's been doing some sort of sacred dance and got caught doing that as well. Man, he's just getting ostracized. Well, some people are just good at memorizing that sort of stuff. There we go. He can s copy anything once he sees it. Aww, he, st he was trying to help her. Oh, they're talking about his scab or whatever. Why are they only bringing all this up when it's very apparent that he's been living with these villagers for years? I guess it's just been building up. Well, it seems these villagers are going to be providing some comic relief because that was pretty funny to me. Oh, oh, was the horse sick? The horse is just lying down. What's wrong with it? Oh, biggest crime you can commit in this tribe. She sticking up for him. Aw. He's like confused too. He's looking at her like, what? Buddy, if you want to live, maybe play along. <laughs> Oh, and I'm guessing that no one's ever ridden a horse before. He's like inventing something new. Before they only ate horses, and then they learned to ride them. <laughs> He's making this up on the spot. <laughs> oh, he tried to like also plant acorns, saying that they'd grow. Oh, he's been having crazy ideas for years. Some of them have been helpful, like putting holes in the roof so daylight would come in. I.e. windows <laughs> or sunroofs. <laughs> he wants to see Unsum ride the horse by the next full moon. It's like, if you can do it and prove that it works, that's, I'd say that's a pretty fair deal. So is he going to ride a horse in this too? You know what? I remember somebody in the comments of my Vincenzo reaction saying that he rode horses in this series. So, <laughs> yay, we get another Song Joon Ki horse riding moment. Oh, so the reason they were out there was because Tanya insisted on going out into the forest. Interesting. Oh, and was the day she had her first dream. There's a connection there. Oh, she doesn't dream anymore. Oh, so that explains why they think that Unsum has been stealing her dreams. Oh, there's a prophecy involving the comet. Everybody has a prophecy in all these tribes about people born on that day. And she's like, it's not a bad or a good thing. It's just going to happen. Aw, he sees himself in Unsum. It's a wild idea. Oh, she can't let it happen? Never? Ooh, why not? Does she need him to leave the village even though... Oh, she knows what he's planning. <laughs> Oh, so she knew why he actually did steal the horse, which was to make stuff from it, because he's planning to leave. I can already tell she's perfect for this character. She's a feisty one. <laughs> he got her. Ooh. Arr. Oh, <laughs> nice. Did his scab fall off? So does that mean it fell off? Okay. So a scab has fallen off, he had a dream about his mom, but she wasn't telling him in his dream to go, but she just stood there. That's sad, he misses her. Yeah, he's as confused as I was with her being like, you used me. I mean, maybe he is Arman. She's like, get going, she understands. So she's known for a while, it seems, that the plan was he'd leave the minute his scab fell off. And he's saying, Tanya's dream led me here. That's true. He's like, I belong with the Wahan tribe. It's about the three things they never never do. So there's three things you should not do. Worship the, bla the great black cliff and not crossing it. You crossed over the cliff. <laughs> Learn the wisdom of seeds, but do not grow them. He's tried that as well. When no one else could even think of it, you planted an acorn. <laughs> and today, you said you want to ride a horse, communicate with animals, but do not tame them. So he's already doing all the three things that the first great mother said never to do. 
You can never be part of the Wahan tribe. He's so lost, he has no tribe of his own. Oh, she's sad that Unsum's leaving. I'm assuming that's why she's crying. Everybody's upset. He's angry running. She's cry walking. The great mother is off in some weird place with skulls. Up, oh, off into the water he goes. Wee! <laughs> Guess he needed to cool down. <laughs> that was a little odd, but okay. <laughs> Oh, he's making an excuse as to why he should stay. He's like, I'll stay until she memorizes the dance. This is a cool little CGI'd area. It's real pretty. This must be the dance that she's trying to learn. Oh, so he's wearing the mask because he's being punished and isn't allowed to talk. And they're scared of him. Yeah, he looks like he's got some skills. Okay, so they've explained why he's wearing the mask. He's being punished. That means he's been getting punished for 10 years because I believe he was wearing a mask when we were first introduced to him in episode one. I guess we'll find out what he's being punished for later. Oh no, owie. So they're calling these people workers, but they're obviously slaves. I don't think they're being paid for this manual labor. They're all excited to see our Mubek. So he's pretty much created an elevator lift on the side of the mountain that lets him go down to the, uh, what did they call it? It was, you know, it's the desert. <laughs> As a former dancer, I don't fully understand what she's struggling with and her falling down in the same spot every time. <laughs> You're purposefully falling, girl. <laughs> it's hard, it's not very believable. <laughs> she's struggling though. I can feel the strain. So does she know about the three rules she that you shouldn't break? I feel like she would. She's kind of fighting back with that. It's like, well, didn't the great wolf climb down and just never returned? Oh, so has the horse been sulking ever since he put rope around his neck? I'm already loving this horse. <laughs> this horse actor. <laughs> yeah, he's gotta learn to ride that horse or he's gonna get exiled anyway. Oh, he's comparing her to the horse. Dude! Oh, it's a carrot. Oh, give me a name. She heard something. Oh, did the horse talk to her saying give her give the horse a name? So she can talk to horses. Cause like that was one of the three things. It's like, you know, speak to animals but do not tame them or ride them. Did you just talk to me? Okay. She thinks that she heard the horse. Oh. Watch her name it and it stands up immediately. <laughs> Oh, she's tied him with a name. So in theory, the horsey won't run away. <laughs> Watch it still run away. But it'll come back, right? She got to stand. Yay! All right, and they've made a whole walkway so that their feet don't burn. So I'm guessing that the ground has is like made of volcanic sulfur type stuff. And that's why it was like burning their feet. Oh no! You know their village is about to get raided. Ah! So he needs to be riding that horse, I think, by today. <laughs> I mean, that kind of counts. Oh, I, I feel kind of bad for the horse. He's like hanging on him. I hope they had a good horse trainer and like, you know, making sure that this animal didn't suffer. Oh, the horse is mimicking him. Yeah, they're like, why isn't the horse running away? Good question. Oh, so they're, I think, going on a journey for to visit another tribe to do some trading and stuff. And so they do face paint and stuff to celebrate. I can't tell if I like tan him in this or like, you know, more, not pale, but just not as sun-kissed in Vincenzo. I wonder if he had to like go to tanning every week to, to keep this tan. I hope he didn't ruin his beautiful skin for this role. Ooh, she's painting his chest. Ooh. <gasps> Is he gonna kiss her? <laughs> ah! <laughs> that was a good attempt. Good try, buddy. This is fun that he had to learn a little modern dance routine for this. I wonder if that's really him dancing. I don't know. They did kind of like a faraway shot. And whenever there's like a wide shot, to like show the full routine. Sometimes they do that to hide that the fact that it's a stunt double doing it, but it could be him. Let's see, let's assess the scab or the leftover skin from the scab falling off. Oh, he's been having a recurring dream of being locked up. Okay, interesting. And it was 
A place surrounded by rocks hanging from the walls. Okay. Where Tand hides with weird drawings on them. I wonder if he's seen where his brother is. Because again, the mother, I believe, had twins. She was not that worried about her other kiddo. Hopefully they explain that. Uh-oh. Oh, I bet you that village got hit first. Yep. Oh no, I wonder if I wonder if the Earth doll people are now on the way to that tribe and now all the men, or I'm assuming a lot of the men are here. Uh-oh. They're defenseless besides Unsum. I mean, I feel like those women can probably handle their own, but still. <laughs> if you run away, I'll rename you. <laughs> what a threat. I feel like the horse maybe senses something. It's all meant to be. He's run into somebody. Oh dear. Anja tribe, okay. Oh, they don't speak the same language? He's trying to warn him. What the heck is this? Oh, that's an arrow, bro. You better learn quick, because you're about to die if you don't. <laughs> oh, but he recognizes the language. I wonder if that means that the tribe that he lives with left the Arthdal tribe and wanted to live a more peaceful life. And that's how they ended up here. Oh no, is he gonna end up killing this guy? Uh oh. <laughs> Fell on his fellow man's sword, that sucks. He's showing the evidence, like, guys, listen, it's not the tribe, you think? And they spoke the lang their language. Ooh, they're shocked by that. I wouldn't go get him, because aren't those other boys there picking up their dead warriors that he killed? Yeah, I think that this group, hey, it's the horsey. <laughs> The horse is chasing after him. Is the horse gonna let him ride him now since he needs to get there faster and carry the body? And look, they're riding horses. Just like Unsub was trying to do. Oh no, little kid, don't go near them. Oh, they're shocked that this tribe speaks their language too. <gasps> he just killed that little boy. Burn the village down? Oh no! And Unsub, you know he's not gonna get there in time. He's gonna come back and everyone in the village is gonna be dead. I was really obviously liking the vi these villagers, so I'm already emotionally devastated by what's going on. Oh man. Yeah, I feel like they're all gonna get captured and taken away. And by the time Unsum gets back with the injured guy, probably on the horse, they're gonna be gone and the he's gonna find just the village burnt down. I wonder if Tanya's gonna meet his twin brother during this time. I feel like that has to happen. Okay, so they've got all the people they've captured there and they've sort of marked all the villages that they've found, right? Oh, the world's most glorious horse rode. Oh, so he's bringing up a legend about like some a magical horse. Hmm, interesting, interesting. So I wonder if, uh, and some riding into the horse, you know, because his mom thought he was that god too. Oh, they're trying to tell everybody they're okay. Figure out who's there. Man, she's bleeding. I don't think she's gonna last very long. Is he gonna stop them? Is he gonna rescue them? Fight back, everybody, fight back! Yeah, he's taking her with him. They're dispersing. <gasps> Ooh, look at that horse go! Whee! <laughs> Oh no, Tanya, no! Yeah, he's gonna be stronger, right? Cause he's part Neanthal. She's like, I gotta stay, I gotta be with my people. Don't leave her behind! <gasps> oh no, he's gonna kill them. Oh, he's asking her to name him, give him a new name. She's like, dream, that's your name. Oh. <laughs> All right, they're gonna go after him now. In theory, he should be able to ride faster since the horse doesn't have as much weight on him. Like, he doesn't have a saddle. Song Jun Ki seems pretty small. Not like in a height way, but like lean way. Come on, horsey, you can do it. Help her, help. Look at that magical horse. Helper was like, let's speed up now. Good job, helper. Oh, it can't be. Could that horse be? Kanmaro? Okay, so it's the horse that was the legend, not actually Unsum. It's the first horse ever to live, is the direct descendant of all the long lines of firstborns. It has the original memories of being wild, and so it's gonna be faster. Okay. 
then he's Otterman. Okay, <laughs> I think I just mispronounced the name, but the mom thought he was. This guy thinks he is because he's riding the first horse. Well, those were episodes one and two of Arthdal Chronicles. I have mixed feelings. I definitely was not into the show in episode one, mostly because they didn't have Song Joon Ki until the very end. Episode two definitely drew me in more, but I kind of think that it might not be the best drama of all time. I was definitely getting some third-rate Game of Thrones vibes, and of course, right after watching episode one and two, I went to Wikipedia. When this show aired, it was criticized by Game of Thrones fans uh, that it shares similarities with that series. And I guess I could kind of see that, but the thing is, is you see that a lot in Korean dramas. I do feel that they take some aspects of American movies or of international movies as well as international shows and American shows and, you know, put that into their plots, but everybody does that. So I don't think that they should be fully criticized for it, but I definitely was having those vibes from the intro title sequence for sure. And I would say that it's a Game of Thrones wannabe without the budget. <laughs> the CGI definitely wasn't the best in the first episode. It could be budget as well as time. And also according to the Wikipedia page, there was uh, some criticism of the mistreatment of the staff in this show and you know violating labor laws etc honestly I try not to let that sort of thing affect my watching of a show I mean effort was put into it and I am a huge fan of Song Joon Ki so I don't know I don't know why I didn't watch this in 2019 I'm definitely going to be binging it since all episodes are up but I hope you guys enjoyed this thank you all for suggesting I give this show a watch again it's the only Song Joon Ki series I haven't watched so excited to add this to my roster I'm gonna continue to binge it off camera but if you do really want to to see my reaction that might motivate me so make sure to give this video a thumb up let me know what you've thought of the series in the comments below if you watched it since those of you who suggested it I'm assuming did watch it I'd love to hear your take on the show I know that one of you who suggested it was like the plot was pretty crazy and I can I can see that already so I'm excited to see all the twists and turns with that I'm gonna end this video thank you for staying to the end to hear my goodbyes I hope you're doing well and staying safe out there and I'll see you in the next video bye